when we see stuff like this, it definitely means we're getting close to the end. Plants, plants, plants. And when you have your customer putting the plants in, say hi to everybody, Mike. <laughs> when you have your customers putting plants in with you, you know that the feature is gonna be more and more and more incredible every year. Customers that get involved with it definitely take a little bit more ownership to it. And you can tell Mike and his wife are gonna definitely love this thing and be playing around with it, putzing around with it, enjoying it for many, many years to come. That waterfall is gonna be incredible. And I think these people owe that guy a big thank you because that waterfall is the infinity edge from that side, but an incredible looking waterfall from over here. Hey, it's Brian with Team Aquascape. I am back here in Chicagoland area. Last time I was out at this property, I was walking it over with Chris, leaving him on a project that I was really kind of bummed not to be part of, especially in the first phases of it. Something that we had planned last year and I just knew it was gonna be super cool, but I had to go out to Prescott, Arizona and build a stone truck waterfall, which you can see right here. turned out great, but still bummed that I couldn't be here to work on this project. So I left Chris and the team with a huge responsibility to pull off my vision. And this is the first time I'm back to see what type of progress they've made and what it looks like. So let's take a look. <laughs> To you guys, it looks like a construction site. To me, it's already super, super incredible. So awesome. Now I gave Chris total freedom. We had three spheres and we were gonna put all three up there. And I said, listen, let's just do one there and then you figure out where the other two are gonna go. And so I love that the two are over here and one's over there, kind of balances all that stuff out. I also knew they wanted to play around with the bowl. We talked about actually carving it into the steps over in here, but I think that actually makes a lot of sense because now they get to see that from inside the house. This was gonna be the part that was gonna be the trickiest, bringing stairs up in here, and it looks like they got kind of creative. Awesome, looks like maybe a little planting pocket, splitting the stairs, and then these stairs continue all the way down into the bottom, which looks really, really cool. Love the rock work though. The combination of weathered limestone and moss rock in here. Mostly weathered limestone, but there's definitely some moss rock. See Corey and Kobe moving some boulders by hand. Now this section I was super concerned about, but it looks incredible already. This was to be a stream that comes down and kind of enters into the pond. Stepping stones going across rather than a solid bridge with stairs that come down to see the Vanishing Edge waterfall. So let's take a look at that. It's awesome. It's super good. Oh, and that waterfall is gonna be incredible. Look at the view from down here now. So cool. You can see Daniel over here. So these guys are situating a rock just to retain back some of that stuff. Hey, you guys do me a favor. See the lines on that rock? Can you see that the lines are running like this? Mm -hmm. Just stand the rock like this. It doesn't utilize the rock the most, but those lines are meant to sit horizontal and it'll look that much better. Can you see them on there? Yeah, I see them. So it'll be fine, just you'll match this side up with this right here and then it'll stand a little taller. So this part here will end up being right there. Kind of stuff just drives me nuts, right? When you see the lines on the rock and they're supposed to sit like this. <laughs> it's probably me just being overly picky. Let's see. Make this the bottom and then the lines will sit horizontal. And then you're just gonna have to dig, dig a little dirt out on the, if it makes it easier, take that rock since it's tall and put it next to that one. Yeah, this one just right here. Just dig this out and so you put it right here and then it works there and then we can get something smaller over here. Sorry guys, but thank you. <laughs> Let's go check in and see what Daniel's doing because he's doing something over here with Jack 2.0, Winter Jack. So this is cool. So we've got a swim up area to the sunken fire pit over there. And where are we stealing this idea from? Do you remember? 
I would say probably one of the sandbo sandboxes. Do, do you remember ones. who did it? Um, possibly Weston. Yeah, there you go. He's on vacation. <laughs> Thank you, Weston, so much for the idea. It works so awesome. So we're bringing cedar right up to the Unilock wall on the other side. In the past, we've done two double Unilock walls with the liner in between. The problem with that is then we get a huge coping stone sitting on there to cover the two walls, or we'll just bring boulders up here. And the problem with the boulders is just like the double wall, it takes up a lot of real estate. This gives us a nice finish. That cedar inside the water will last forever. Some of the most expensive wood in the world is actually harvested from the bottom of lakes where the lack of oxygen actually helps preserve the wood. So this is just a cool element. Water is gonna come all the way up to about there, which is gonna look insane. And then you can see Daniel just attaching it with some construction adhesive. It's gonna be awesome. Well, we've got a big day today, especially because I'm back and excited to be back in town, refreshed and ready to go. Everybody's got something to do. Our goal today, finish all the edging, kind of clean up everything from back in here, move this way across the pond, finishing, finishing, finishing. We have another pump we're gonna add to feed a waterfall and a wetland filter over in there. But I just wanna get all of this done, soil taken out, and then hopefully get our wetland dug later today. stuff like this it definitely means we're getting close to the end plants 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 and when you have your customer putting the plants in say hi to everybody Mike <laughs> when you have your customers putting plants in with you you know that the pond the feature is gonna be more and more and more incredible every year customers that get involved with it definitely take a little bit more ownership to it and you can tell Mike and his wife are gonna definitely love this thing and be playing around with it hutzing around with it enjoying it for many many years to come Come. We are moving right along. Things are looking incredible. We have the water going into the pond. We brought out some different aquatic plants. You can see Mike over there planting some allium, some Carl Forrester grasses over there. Our guys have just finished up some of the step stones coming down the stone steps, making some fine detail cuts over in this area. We've got a bench that's going to sit over there. You can see we finished up the whole lower area down in here. Our pumps will sit in there. We never cover the vault until we get everything running, just in case we have to get back in there, but that waterfall is gonna be incredible. And I think these people owe that guy a big thank you because that waterfall is the infinity edge from that side, but an incredible looking waterfall from over here. We've decided to leave all of this grass back in here. It'll serve as a great little dog run. Things in here are pretty done. We buttoned up all of our edges. You can see a lot of this stuff is finished up and through here. Corey and Kobe did a great job on finishing up these edges in here. I love the little landslides. A lot of times, instead of just putting big rock, big rock, big rock, we bring in these little landslides just to break up the monotony of all the big boulders and stuff. Now if we come over here, we've got Jack and Daniel digging out for a little waterfall over here. So this area is getting super tricky, getting down to just a few rocks left, but we set that rock in and it was tilted pretty hard to the left. So instead of building this side back up, which would then increase our water level, we're digging this side down a lot to get that thing level. So we'll get that in and then we can start digging our hole over here. But the rest of the pond is about 95% finished. It's really looking awesome. And if it looks good empty, of course it's gonna look great when water level comes all the way up into there. It's gonna look so cool. But Jack, we've got a couple challenges over here. I think you cut the liner too short over there. Yeah, <laughs> that was actually all me. <laughs> I knew it when I cut it and I did it just to get it out of the way because we had so much extra liner. But once we get that big rock in there, our liner is going to be short there. The other thing is that stone there only gives us about a three inch waterfall dropping into the pond right in here. As the water then comes through here, it'll just rip through this little area here, really helping push all that debris out of here. Then we have to seam our bog liner onto this liner. So we'll get that buttoned up. I think, I don't know, what do you think? Should we seam it before we dig the hole or after we dig the hole? If we try to seam it after the hole's dug and put the liner in, then you get all those crazy folds. Jack says before, but if we seam it beforehand, then we're kind of married to the shape of the liner being whatever it wants to do. Rock, paper, scissors. I think Daniel just called a timeout. I'm not sure. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, it'll be easier. Yeah, well, one step at a time. We'll get that thing in and then we'll make a, another decision. First off, we gotta get the dirt out of this 
<laughs> well, we're loving this pond. Chris and the guys obviously did a fantastic job before I got here. Love the way it's all turned up today, finishing the edges. Chris is pretty good, but it's the details. The details that bring it all together. Do you hear that, Chris? The detail. Oh, you guys are awesome. All right, we've got probably one more day, and then we are out of here. I'll show you guys that seam in a second, and then the next will be, um, oh, do you know what I forgot to tell you? Here's something. So the original design actually had a biofalls sitting over there with a waterfall coming this way to create any type of drop. And really, if I wanted to create a waterfall, I want it to be at least 16 inches. Doing a 12 inch waterfall coming out of a biofalls is kind of an epic waste of time and a lot of work. But what would have had to have happened, we started building this retaining wall over here to hold back just some of the grade. And you can see some of the size of some of these boulders back in here. Well, if the biofalls were to sit about where that rock is, then falling that way, we would have needed another whole course of these size boulders up into here just to retain all of the soil that needs to go up and around the biofalls, which would have given us kind of the Great Wall of China look over in here and definitely a high volcano look on the front side of everything. So instead, we audibled and the customer loves the play change and we're going with a large stacked urn instead. And because of all the stack slate spheres through everything, I think that guy is gonna look a whole lot better up and over here. And we've been saving that for over a year, waiting for an opportunity for something like this. And the biggest advantage of that big stack slate sphere over there, one, I think it's gonna help kind of balance everything out, a little bit of height over there. We have height of the tree and everything over in there. It's also gonna give us a lot more height. So now we get a five foot high waterfall, if you will, over in that space. And it'll look so much better than a, a waterfall anyways. So the urn sitting kind of right in this area is gonna give us so much more height, look so much better than a waterfall ever will. Not as natural, but balance out with all the other stack seat stuff they have throughout the yard. Also give a 360 degree view of that thing. So whether you're coming in from the fence over there, whether you're walking by as a pedestrian, look kind of looking over into the yard, or you're back into the house, you get to see something. And the sound of rain sitting next to this sunken patio is gonna sound really good. Yeah.